Well, it looks like the stream is within range to be up and running again. Are we? We seem to be. Uh. inside something that came from my old pizzeria. I don't think it was ever used. At least not the way it was meant to be used. Too dangerous. It's just big enough for one person to fit inside. Sounds like someone else is in the building. Shh. 
Yeah. I'd say that's one of the biggest shortcomings of this game. Pretend to be one way when you are really the other. It's very important. The Laura never learns. But I do. <coughs> I think there is something wrong on the inside. The only thing that matters is knowing. <clears throat> I realize it's a simple game, but there are some things I wish they had in here for different settings. Like adjusting the brightness. Because right now it's really fucking hard to see half of what's going on. I mean, like, you've got the spooky element. Okay, but the the fucking things crawling up the sides. I can barely see them. I don't know if there's something I'm supposed to be doing there or not. 
whatever. I'm also tired, so if it seems like I'm not enjoying myself, part of it is just me being sleepy.
I think I'm going to give it one more shot and then I'm going to do a change up, do something else since I'm not making any progress here. Um, making this a uh, almost like horror style punch out, um, I can say that as far as FNAF goes. Um, I'm enjoying it more than I think I would have many of the classic games. Uh, or I should say the original. Um, that's purely speculation. I can't say, you know, without having played it, but looking at the play style and the way it's supposed to work, um, it's not, it's not my thing, especially something that repetitive um, this, however, having a new challenge every night, or something to mix it up anyway. I'm liking it. Um, it's still not the best thing. I think there are design choices here that could be better. Um, I mean, it's my understanding that the guy who made this had a lot of really simple games and that's kind of like what he's run on and to me it still feels like it because many of the options for the game like multiple save states or skippable cutscenes or even you know not having an option in a menu to erase your save data but having to press delete on the like load screen That's kind of poor development, in my opinion. Um, it's, I don't know. I don't know. But I think there's a certain level of polish that is not here that really should be. And, um... I think it, it shows, but whatever. Um, I'm still, I guess what I'm saying is it could be better, but all in all it's not bad. Um, I think it just needs a little work. That's all. Um, oh, I don't know if I... Hmm. Um, no, I didn't. Um... There are some things that were, that were frustrating, and it still isn't, like, I don't get that level of tension. I get focused on, like, what I'm doing to complete the objective, and the only jump scare I get is when it actually occurs. Uh, I will say there's um, a certain issue there with audio level, like, if I have the sound turned up all the way, then yeah, it's going to make me jump out of my pants, but that's just because it hurts my ears. Um, and I feel it does detract from the game a bit if you just have, like, everything muted. So I do have the audio on, but I don't have it to where it's going to, like, blare when... Uh, <laughs> yeah. 
keeping my mouse hostage. I thought that was actually humorous. Um, I'm not. I'm not too bent out of shape with that. So. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, let me see if I can uh, get my hands on what I need, and I'll be back shortly. <laughs> 